our client, uh, their, the petition of votes were deducted and added to this. We told them, show us the proof, how are they deducted? We have seven proofs. So in, in mathematics, you use proofs to prove a point, uh, to prove knowns and unknowns. We have seven proofs. We have our rows at the, at the polling station. They had agents. You had agents at the CTC. We have the original. You have agents at the NTC. We have original. We have what is transmitted in the portal. We have original. All of them tally, and you are saying your clients' votes were deducted. How? I will mention a small issue on the register. I want to note the court, we understood the issues as framed by the court as those issues. The issue of the register was not one of the issues. We have answered in the par uh, at paragraph 85 of Hussein Marjan and Michael Omar's affidavits. We did an audit as per the law. The audit was given as required by the law, was transmitted to the speaker of both houses. We did a resolution of most of those audit processes. We have documented what has been done. 262,000 deceased people were removed. There were some Kenyans who had registered both with their passport and IDs. And that process of audit is an ongoing process. We will endeavor to complete it, but I want to confirm to the court that that audit process undertook, and we acted on that audit process, and we went to a, with a clean register. With the elections. An allegation was made that, oh, your client was printing 34 A's many of them to actually do something untoward. We want to tell the court, and we have put before the court, that the reason that was, was actually done, book two of two and book one of one, is to ensure that as many Kenyans as possible had copies of the 34A. So you have a form 34A, and if you printed only six copies, one, copies, one copy goes to the ballot box. One copy is supposed to be attached to the polling station. Those are two copies. Four copies are supposed to be given to presidential, uh, 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 copies to the presidential candidate. Then we have an issue that a copy has to go to the arrow. And what we did is we, we, we wanted to print many copies of the A's for the purposes of the result. And the reason why, because the carbon copy, if you reach six and you are actually writing on the carbon copy that you are giving copies of, when you reach the third copy, it will not even be able to, you will not be able to read it. When that happened, the petitioners, together with religious leaders, traveled to Greece. And they, and, and they raised an issue. They say they did not want book two of two. So what did we do? We just gave instructions. We had a meeting with them. The same was shared by the chairman. The chairman, the same directive was given to our officers. And when they opened the polling stations, book two of two was being put in the ballot box. 34, two of two. An allegation was made. And, and this is, I, 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 I think my, my ICT people have told me they actually want to buy the patent of this technology, that, I, that a JPEG of handwritten document can be converted to C, CSV amended on a form that has signatures and watermark and converted back to PDF and uploaded. If such technology exists, we actually want to buy its patent. It's actually impossible to do that. And that is why all of the forms that have been submitted, the only thing that can be done is you have to just look at the tally numbers 
and try to use Photoshop to change the tally numbers. You can't do that. Because the verification process has eight stages. This form is widely available from the village to the NTC that for someone to say that, oh, my 34A has been tampered with, it's, it's, a, it's, 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 it's impossibility. To just conclude, the petitioner's case says 500,000 Kenyans who conducted the elections, POs, deputy POs, ROs, and everyone, conspired against them. That is, the numbers don't pan out. The allegations of the form don't pan out. And the question I kept on asking, and this court should ask is, what if on the day of the election, God forbid, that the RTS system of IEBC collapsed? And the only thing that is available to this court are original form 34A. Will this court say, since your RTS system collapsed, there is no election that you held? That the franchise and the vote of the Kenyan cannot be gotten from those ballot boxes and those forms. And the second question, and which is really, and we have indicated that in the firewalls and the affidavit of Hila Kavogo, and the, how robust our system was, and how many, who, who tried to, 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 to do that. The other question is, 300 million Kenyans access that portal. They know the results as indicated. Those results can be verified from the forms original available, from the forms of the agent. And I think the court should make a determination that their numbers don't add up. The allegations of the form fall flat on what we have demonstrated. And the allegations relating to forms in the portal being different from what their agents have are an attempt to actually present the court with evidence that it forged. And the court should actually look at those documents, look at those forged logs, and take necessary action against any officer who will have presented those logs or documents. Allegations have been made about Gudino and access. You will find in the affidavit of Hila Kavogo, those people were leads who were actually providing ICT help in the, at the level of the systems. And every person was logged off from our system on the 8th of August. There is an email we have attached to the affidavit as it relates to that. Anyone who had access to our systems was someone who was authorized to do. And finally, and I, 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 the court should ask the question, whether the 50% plus one was met. And, and, and to that question, your ladyship, the late Justice Antonin Scalia, whenever he went to give lectures uh, uh, to all over the United States, everyone used to ask him about Bush v. Go. And he will, he, will, he will know whether someone is a Republican or a Democrat as to the question they will ask. And his answer will be, get over it. It's over. So to 50 plus 1, the court made its determination in 2013 on the vote cast and valid votes and the rejected ballot. Rejected are not votes. Votes is an authentication of preference. 
There's nothing called rejected votes. That's a rejected ballot. The court emphatically made that decision in 2013 and in 2017. To the petitioner's answer as to that, I think the simple answer will be get over it. With those few remarks, I yield the floor. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, 